Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and I'm really excited today to show you a uh, new app that uh, was actually recommended by a Blender user, and I'll put a uh, link to his stuff here in the um, description of the video as uh, Doodling Turtle, I believe is, is the correct pronunciation. So uh, anyway, this program is called gesture sign. I think some of you have probably seen it before. I like this because it fills in a gap, uh, something that people have been requesting for Tablet Pro for a while, and that's having gestures that work uh, without having to have the full screen mode on. So we can do all these same things with full screen on, which means you have a trackpad function. But if you don't want that, um, our engine's built on that. So we don't have the option of doing a two-finger tap or uh, three-finger slide up to bring up the keyboard or slide over to bring up or close uh, Tablet Pro. And that's, to me, that's awesome. I really like that. And you can do that inside of Gesture Sign. It's free in the Windows Store and it's pretty easy to set up. Um, I wish it had a couple more gestures built in and uh, actually it might and I just may be unaware of how to do it. So here's what I have. I have Cortana turned on here, and you can see that it's um, capturing my speech. And that's a four finger tap. Um, uh, decrease and increase volume. This is up and down, and you can do it obviously with one finger up and down. And um, what else do I have? Four fingers sliding over is going to uh, switch whatever the open window is. I closed all the other open windows, so you're not gonna see that. Uh, so let's see here. Close Tablet Pro. Um, because I have um, these over here, this is how this works. If you guys are interested in figuring out how I'm doing that, just put a comment below and I'll go through that. Um, you can turn on and off gestures. These are supposed to be pinch in and pinch out, but I don't think that's actually working the way that I I want, so I have to figure out another way of doing pinch in and pinch out gestures. Okay, um, copy, I don't know. Uh, this one's cool. To open up a web browser, four fingers slide down to close. Enter I have is three finger tap. Um, media play pause, I guess is like that. Um, previous window, next window, redo like this. And um, I have this set up to this is a, uh, let's see, I have to tap, it depends on where you tap, this continuous gesture. What that means is if I open up, here we'll go inside of Paint Tool Sci and turn on the stylus I like. Um, all right, so you can see I'm drawing a bunch of different things Here, now two finger. Um, it's possible actually that I have this set up with not the keyboard shortcut here. Let's see, redo is control Y. And I think I have this uh, paint tool sigh, redo control Y. Okay, let's see. I may actually, I wonder if I have to set that up. All right, so it looks like it's sending the wrong keyboard shortcut. So redo, let's turn that off. Global is probably having a hard time. There we go. Um, and that's pretty cool. And it's stuck working. <laughs> All right, well, it's free. So uh, check it out. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened there. Anyway, check it out. Uh, I'll put the link in the description. It's a really cool program. Um, I think you guys will like playing around with it and just kind of experimenting. If you find uh, a couple cool, like really cool implementations of it, uh, let me know. Uh, it can do quite a few different things. So let's say I want to add a new one. 
I like clicking over here and putting in the name first. We're going to leave it here, but you can choose things like um, different mouse options, mouse actions, uh, running different uh, command prompt commands, uh, website files, uh, adjusting volume, but mouse actions, you can have it so that it, it clicks on a location with a gesture, which is cool. Um, you can have it double click, press, release, vertical scroll, and there's a lot of options for doing actually advanced uh, commands as well. So you can uh, create conditions and different things. A lot more than I'm aware of how to do. And device limit, you can choose what things and where those things uh, are are triggered and how they're triggered. Okay, all right. Uh, hopefully you guys find this information really useful. And uh, again, if you have not subscribed yet, this is a great channel for anyone who uses a touchscreen uh, stylus, uh, Windows 10, uh, this channel is for you. All right, I hope you have a wonderful day. Stay safe and um, take care.